Hello guys, welcome to a new Get Wrecked Gaming News video and today we're going to talk about some of the dark side of the gaming industry. Yes, it's time again for microtransaction talk because everyone loves that and their live services and we're going to talk about abandoned because uh, it looks like it's just one big scam. <laughs> um, we have news on all this stuff so if you are interested sit back relax take a beverage and let's get on with the news the microtransactions that i wanted to talk about diablo immortal now i know you you might not be interested in diablo immortal believe me i am the furthest away of like interested in this game i'm actually not the biggest fan of Diablo and most of Blizzard their stuff but when it comes to microtransactions I have to cover them that's why I made get wrecked uh, to protect you guys from this type of bullshit so uh, apparently it costs over one hundred thousand dollars to gear up for everything in Diablo Diablo Immortal do you guys not have phones? yeah you guys all have phones right? I don't know if Blizzard learned anything. <laughs> I don't think they did, but yeah, that's that's just some out outrageous pools crap um i have a article from game rent it costs one hundred thousand dollars to fully gear up in diablo immortal with that money guys you can buy a house <laughs> maybe like a, a very cheap house but hey you can buy a house or apartment or a nice car you know um Having launched ahead of schedule just a few days back, Activision Blizzard's Diablo Immortal has been making headlines for a wide variety of reasons, not least of which is its microtransactions model, namely Diablo Immortal. is a free-to-play game and as such features a number of ways that the players can support its continued development. Uh, yeah, support its continued development. You mean the continuous revenue? The YouTuber that calculated this is uh, Bellular News. I think I've heard of him. He makes a little bit basically of the same kind of uh, content that I do. Mainly on uh, microtransaction stuff and bad gaming stuff just in general of live services. Um, I'm not subscribed to him. I think I only see saw one video. I could totally be wrong, actually. But it's good of him that he actually, like, calculated this stuff. Because the crux ish of the issue, as per Bellier News' recent video, is that the Diablo Immortal allows players to buy the so-called legendary gems. These are one of the characters' three progression pillars alongside the regular gear and XP level. And they dedicate one endgame tier progression beyond what is possible simply by reaching Diablo Immortals level cap. As of right now, the free-to-play players cannot earn top-rated legendary games, uh, legendary, uh, legendary games, which are, I, uh, I don't they mean like legendary gear? Uh, anyway, um, cannot earn top-rated legendary games, which are only available via the, some of the game's monetization options and fully maxing out a character effectively costs 100,000 in the game's total economy. So I think the game also has yeah, loot boxes. <clears throat> so if you guys know, don't know, uh, I live actually in Belgium and here in Belgium loot boxes are uh, banned basically. So the game, I can't even play the game myself because it's banned in Belgium and also the Netherlands even though the Netherlands still have some little bit laxer, relaxing rules towards that stuff. They still banned the game. Um, yeah, that's. I find this very unfortunate. Just for the whole, the whole Diablo fan base. Even though I'm, I'm not a 
fan of Blizzard stuff. I've, I was only a fan of Overwatch when that came out. And of course, Overwatch featured uh, also loot boxes, but that was all cosmetic. And when you do pay to win stuff, that's just not a good look. There are a lot of free to play games that do this kind of stuff, you know? Um, but having this for a big IP like Diablo is just a bad look all around. Um, they just shouldn't do this stuff. And I know they, they, they need some kind of revenue source because it is free to play. But when you introduce pay to win stuff to get to the end game and monetizing basically the main gameplay loop, that's just not a good look at all. I'm just very sad for the Diablo fans. The, they are the ones that lose at the end of the day. I've seen some uh, reviews for Diablo Immortal. And it's supposedly actually a fun game. Because it has the gameplay systems of Diablo 3. And maybe it gives e even some taste test for what Diablo 4 can be. Uh, it has some fun gameplay. But they monetize the main gameplay loop from what I've seen in the reviews. And... These practices exist and as long as my channel exists, uh, I will not be for that stuff. Uh, so just make a paid normal Diablo experience. That's what the fans want. They want to see Diablo 4. They don't want to see this type of stuff. But hey, a game company smells money and they will take the opportunity to get that. Um, if I see any more like updates towards Diablo Immortal, uh, some like egregious stuff, then I will update you guys on it. Uh, but it's a mobile game really at the end of the day. You can play it on PC, but it's not a big like triple A title I feel. It's, it was more like a side project. So I'm not going to spend that much time on it. But yeah, Diablo Mortal, as we thought, um, is shit. <laughs> Basically, at the end of the day. And then the next uh, story that I wanted to talk about is also a pretty sad one. Abandoned uh, is basically just a big scam. Most of us already knew this from last uh, news stories from other publications. But it's, it's basically continuing to be a train wreck and... Uh, Hassan Karaman, uh, the developer, director, is basically just a scammer. What has he done now? Well, I will tell you. This is an um, article from Eurogamer, but the source is actually uh, GameSpot, so I will have both sources. Uh, I use Eurogamer's um, article because it's a little bit shorter for me to and comprehend her to read and stuff like that. GameSpot's article is the actual source with images, which we will go over, but it's a bit too long and I'm just lazy. More reports have surfaced uh, suggesting the upcoming PlayStation 5 game Abandoned is not actively being worked on and there is no game in development. Who would have thought? <laughs> with uh, a history, if you know the history from Abandoned, Blue Box Game Studios, they have just all like unfinished projects that they've never finished and that their track record is just non-existent almost um that's why we thought at first it was a fake studio for like a kojima game but ultimately that was not the case and karaman used that hype to fuel his own game hype uh putting uh, putting like a silent hill spin on it uh Hey, they made a tweet with, hey, the first, our, the title of our game starts with S and ends of L. A uh, famous tweet that he made. And of course, people go immediately like this, a silent hill. That's no question about that. Uh, and he, he knows that. He, he just uses the situation to drive the own hype for his game. The claims from GameSpot, which alleged uh, it has information directly from a private Discord server, though, which Hassan Karaman of Blue Box Game Studios, abandoned director, communi communicates with a handful of selected fans. 
in exchange for access to screenshots, animations and even a page of the game script, the members are required to sign an NDA, so some would only speak about the project under strict anonymity. Should any member of the server press Karaman, who is described as duplicious and prone to mood swings. For clarification or more details, they risk being banned from the small community. Okay, so there are these Discord uh, messages. I think I have pictures of them as well. I will show you. This is a message from Hassan Karaman. And he basically talks about, hey, I have not some random question for you lol it's actually that i trust you i am looking for a storage space also in the us because sony told me that the us versions of physical games can be shipped overseas so instead of looking for storage hub and having me actually go there i wanted to ask would you be able to for this uh, do this for me so instead of looking for a spot have the stock delivered to an address you have access to and then shipped it overseas to blue to the blue box address will you get a you will get a fee of course so he's basically asking fans to do work for him here we have another message uh from hassan karaman thanks the nda looks good i have attached the form uh from sony please only fill the shipping info i will provide you a blue box game studios email address include you in the conversation between Sony so that if we have questions ship on shipping info or whatsoever uh, they can reach out to you at all times I know you wouldn't talk about this with other others but keep please keep everything confidential um, and then there's another screenshot I'll be sending you the agreement basically there there's everything will be mentioned regarding the costs uh, the one time fee I will have you to let you know that as it is in early for me to set a rate because the pricing still has to be confirmed with Sony but the fee would cover expenses like shipping, packaging, printing etc and still give you enough revenue as profit. Uh, do you have a delivery service that picks up packages from your house and handles the delivery from here? Um, like what UPS or DHL does? If so, then I would take care of the costs for that. I think I can also order packaging for you to safely ship the Blu-ray box. So the only thing would have taken care of is the printing on the labels, blah, 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 blah. Um, so based on this, I think you would uh, only uh, have to pay for the printing ink labels. So let's say the fee would be around $1,500. Uh, but we can still talk about this a bit later because of the agreement. So in interviews with more than half a dozen people who have had close contact with Karaman since 20, uh, September 2021, GameSpot reports the game is in disarray and the director promises a lot of including paid work for fans but delivers very little. He lets his fans pay for doing work that's that's a really great developer there listen as, a, as an indie game developer you can contract other people to help you but making use of fans i don't know about that chief um <laughs> caraman used to tell the group he was actively working on abandoned but as time went on, he would fail to show much of anything that seemed genuine or compelling. After missing self-imposed deadlines, the report states, for instance, after saying he had a review planned for a day of the week, the day would come and go without a new development. The report further alleges that Karaman has privately admitted that Abandoned is on hold and he first needs to fund its development with a playable prologue, which our sources indicate doesn't seem to be in a hurry to create. Yeah, this is just very sad. He's trying to scam uh, a lot of fa fans and to get as much money because he knows he knows he's, he's in problems. Uh, he's pretty much known now to 
be a scammer. You should just maybe give up, you know. I don't even know why the fuck I'm making a video about this stuff. Because everyone knows at this point that this man lies and he, uh, he's not really making a real game. Or maybe he is, but he is just doing barely any effort in it and not with any intention to release it. And it just blows my mind how he gets support from Sony. He had a trailer on PlayStation's YouTube channel, promotion through the PlayStation website and all that kind of stuff. And I don't maybe Sony should check more on its quality control. <laughs> um, yeah, it's this whole situation with a band that is just getting funny, to be honest. Uh, to see this continue um, is very sad. So that's all really I got for you guys today. Uh, what do you guys think of Diablo Mortal being a free-to-play live service mess, basically? And the whole abandoned clown train fiasco. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching yet again. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.